How's it going, my friends? Demon Driver here with yet another uh, RC airliner that's uh, in the Demon Works being worked on. And this is my customer's uh, 767 300 freighter of ABX. And tonight we're going to do a very quick leading edge slat test. I have uh, the right and left leading edge slats uh, hooked up. They have their uh, servos hooked up. And tonight I'm going to test them out a little bit, see how they work, and uh, get to join me. Okay? Alright, let's, uh, let's see how they work. Well, like I was saying, this is my customer's 767-300 uh, freighter. And the last test you saw was the taxi test, and that was uh, a few months back. And she has tremendous power, as you saw in that video. And this is the first actual flight control test. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing this entire leading edge slat, right and left. Um, you've got things called Kruger flaps, slotted flaps, fixed slats, um, and these are basically called, the. this is the basic slat. It's a surface that moves down and out and extends the, um, the area or uh, surface of the wing, and it increases the actual curvature of the wing and it enforces the air to, it, it, it increases the amount of travel and the amount of um, actual um, surface area of the wing and amplifies the curvature that the air has to travel over and thus uh, thus upping your low air pressure above the wing which creates the lift that the wing flies up into which creates your lift. They create less drag than flaps and they create just as much lift. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and let's test them. Let's see how they work. And this is the actual first flight control test for this plane. So this is a pretty big deal. And uh, next will be the flaps in the next video. I hope to get those done in a little, little while. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy them. I hope you can see that in the video here. Okay. That's deployed. Up, deployed, up. I don't think you can see that that well, can you? Hang on, let me get you a little closer. This is getting a little bit of binding in there. I don't like that. One of the servos is binding a bit. Deployed, retracted. Deployed, retracted, deployed, retracted. Previously while I was doing this, the servo, one of the servos doing this failed and it actually burned up. Let's leave it deployed for a second. Here's the gap. It's not that bad. Let's bring it in a little bit more. That's, a, that's too far out. Here. Give you a good. Most of my nights are either building or testing. I'm either building something or I'm testing something or I'm drawing up plans for something every night. Now it's 2 in the morning right now and I'll be working probably till about 5 a.m. Go to bed, get up at the crack of 12 o'clock, whatever. I'm a night owl. I like to work at night. All right, here we go. That's it deployed. Retracted. Deployed. All right, that's too much of a gap right there. Aerodynamically, that's too much of a gap, so it has to be dialed in as to the tolerance as to how far it can come out. That's too far. So right there. So from there to there. That's the travel right there. Boom. See how it's coming out too hard. 
and that's just a couple of fine little fine tuning in the hinges to make that not happen comes in nice and smooth and there we go right there right there that's about full deflection right there that's what I want that's what I'm looking for right there that's the sweet spot right there right there bring that in fully retracted slat bring it out slowly there we go see that's too far right that would be a disaster because that would just create you would create such a disturbance in this gap it would create it would completely kill the lift on the wing so what you need is the gap has to be very slight now in certain planes like the Fiesler Storch you had you have fixed slats kind of like a fixed slotted slap uh, slat that slits outside the wing and that tr gives tremendous lift to the Fiesler or Fiesler Storch the German um, observation V-stall aircraft retracted That, look, that looks really good. That's working out real good. Oh yeah. Look at that. Looks look it looks good. It's working really well. Well let's look at the other one from across from from this standpoint. Now it's this one is a little bit it's out of it out of whack with the other one. They're not exactly the two of them that need to be here we go, deployed. See, this one really jumps up. See, that's too far. That's too far deployed. Bring it in a little bit. That's right, that's where it needs to be. That's full deployed, right there. All the way in. It's not closing all the way. I need to adjust it to where, it, right there, that's fully closed. So I need to make a little adjustment there. Bring it out. See, this is what scratch building is a lot of this. You're just testing. You're just testing. Flaps, slats, air, you know, spoilers, EDFs, retracts, elevators, rudders, lights, whatever. That pops open like that. That's not good. Bring it in. Deployed. That's too far. So the tolerance is there. That's the movement there to there. There you go, quick little test on the 767 300 freighters leading edge slats, outer leading edge slats. Um, they're probably, I'm probably going to do a Kruger on the uh, inner slats, little Kruger plates that come out. But uh, she's definitely coming along. Uh, to my customer, as you can see, she's really uh, shaping up, so I got to get the flaps, uh, flaps in next, get the slide mechanism corrected and get it perfected and installed and um, get all the servos for the rudder and the elevators hooked up and um, get her covered up, get the wings covered and laminated and painted. Yeah, she's coming along. Well, thank you my friends for joining me for yet another uh, interesting test. Sometimes that's my whole life, it's just testing one thing after another. <laughs>